How's it going, everybody? I'm throwing up a little, uh, just like a, a revisiting. I'm going to do this, try to do this a little bit. I had mentioned it once in the past in a video with Mirror's Edge, but uh, this is Dead Island, and I'm coming back to it. This is the second time I'm playing through it. I played through it originally on the Xbox. I actually picked it up, uh, 360. I picked it up when it came out, like three or four days after. I was really excited about this game and shit. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it actually greatly. There, was, there are some extreme flaws in this game, at least for me. And, uh, you know, I paid it five bucks on sale on the PlayStation Store, so I downloaded it because I've been wanting to check it out for a little while now again. And I'm back at it here. I'm at 70% uh, complete. Chapter 14, main plot in progress. 79%. Uh, so, I'm in the jungle area. Well, this is the lab area, I should say. I have my... Uh, Enhanced blade that will fuck shit up. That was a cool thing about this game is that you can craft weapons and shit. You're like constantly picking up stuff and, and you know trying to get shit. I'm not sure you know quickly. I'm not sure if I haven't put a video on this the first time I had it. Money is key. There's money everywhere lying around. You get money for doing missions. There's a lot of missions to do in this game. Here's the workbench here. This is where you repair, you upgrade your shit, where you create weapons. These are the ones I have. As you can see, uh, I got some good ones. I'm using the, uh, one of the women. I don't know her name, I can't remember her name. But she's a blades expert. So you, like, you have, like, I'll show it in a second, actually, real quick. You can upgrade your stuff here. And you pick up all types of parts and stuff throughout the world, and you can use it to uh, make stuff. I can make stuff with these ones. I, I don't have the proper stuff for all these. Or I don't have the weapons for some of these. There's all types of mods you can find from either you get from missions or you find them, you know, scattered around the environments. But uh, this is like a fire uh, machete, and I have a shock one. This is a, a high voltage... High Voltage Wicked Sickle, Paralyzing Kukri, I don't know if I'm saying that right, Deadly Military mach uh, Machete, and a Bolted Metal Bat, and uh, Shock Pistol, and Detox Auto Rifle. You can, you know, uh, upgrade them as well as any of your drinks and crap. You can buy med kits and stuff. You take on a lot of missions in this game. There's like a lot of side quests. It's actually pretty lengthy. I think the first time I beat it, it took me like 25 to 30 hours. <clears throat> Can drive vehicles as well. I have a main mission I have to do right now, but I'm not focusing on that. Like I said, this is the jungle area. Now, the second time going through this, it it's it hasn't been as good. It still is good. Oh, you know what? I didn't. I used the uh, one of the uh, women. She's like a blades person. That's like her big skill. So. Uh, you know, this is her, this is her, like, this is if your fury or rage, when you click in, uh, you hold circle, you go, you know, when your meter's filled up, you can kick the shit out of stuff real quick. But this is her, like, specific thing here. This is the upgrade tree. I'm at level 35 now. And here's another one that gives you other little bonuses. Uh, the first time I played, I used the, uh, the blunt weapon dude. <clears throat> so, this, she's actually better. Like, I have the, the sharp, uh, Weapons are, are better. You can take limbs off. You can do analog controls as well. I tried that once. It was just too hard for me. <clears throat> you can, sp you, can uh, you know, you can target specific body parts. You can kind of do that still. It will kind of do that. The auto target will. Uh, real quickly, I want to also go to, in my opinion, one of the coolest, if not like, I should say one of the best, if not the best, like single environments in a game from the PS3 360 error, uh, since obviously we're on the PS4, Xbox One, Wii U one now, but from that era, this is, uh, it's still going, but this, the resort environment is so good, it's so good, and it's still great, <clears throat> it's still great, and then quickly I'll show one that is not as great. I actually like the jungle area, and the last area you go to in the game is the prison, which is terrible. It's just, it's not that long, thankfully, but it's just not. Compared to the other ones, it's not long. There's just people everywhere. Like, I took on a lot of missions from these people. I took on, uh, 
you know, a bunch of missions from the uh, people in the city. You find any, thank you. And there's continuous quests that go on where you can give people stuff. Where the hell did I put that? We'll do some driving here real quick as well. Actually, you know what? The driving's alright. It's an in-car view, kind of like Far Cry. It's alright. I prefer the out-of-car view, but they don't have that in this. Let me go to... The uh, Lifeguard Tower. That's where I meant to go. This environment's great. Anyone who's played this game would probably agree. It's an incredible environment. The game still looks pretty solid. There is pop-up, serious pop-up. Sometimes when you load into different areas. But, uh, you know, let me go down. You just get a... It's just really fucking cool. This environment is, like I said, one of the best, if not my favorite of all the games. Uh, you know, I've played on these two systems. You got the beaches, you got the bungalows everywhere. There actually should be... I don't know if that's here or not. Map's pretty big as well. I think it was actually up here. There's a continuous quest where you uh, give this woman champagne and you get, like, serious. Uh, oops. That, that's another annoying theory real quick. A flaw in this game that's so fucking frustrating is that you could, like, that time he got me and grabbed me, but you could literally be hitting them, and then they'll just grab you. Like, they will won't bother with that. Like, it will cancel it out. And it pissed me off the last time. That's a thug right there. There's a, quite a few different zombies. You got your walkers, infected, that will run at you. Uh, I think they're called bloaters or floaters that spit this shit at you, this green ooze. The thug is that big dude walking at me. He'll hit me hard. I'm probably just going to avoid him. I don't really want to deal with him. There's suiciders that are all, like, weird looking. They'll explode when you get near them. There's these other... I don't know what these other guys are called. I can't remember. I think they might be hunters. They, like, really... They're, like, really fast. Kind of infected, but stronger. And there's these other guys that are, like, in straight jackets that run at you and could barrel you over. I can't remember what those two are called. I think... Circle uses your med kits if you have them. It's kind of weird at some point. Like, you have, like, there's natives when you get to the jungle, and so, for some reason they have money on them. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> or where they'd even be holding it. But I, you get a good, you know, view of this. Like, some of that stuff in the background doesn't look as good, but... There's the, the resort itself. There's the lighthouse. Pretty good draw distance. You can, like, run out of the area at some points here, which is kind of weird. Yeah, you see, like, what is this? Three body? Yeah, you can see that's another continuous quest. There's a few of them in each uh, area. Like I said, this was a really, like, cool... See, I just took off his arm. Oh shit, you're getting hit from the That will happen, like, you will get bombarded by dudes. Just lower this a little bit. Yeah, you see, his arms are fucked up, so he's coming at me with his peckin' head. It's great. Like, if you break or cut off their arms, they will just come at you with, uh... They'll try to, like, headbutt you and shit. It's pretty funny. I can use another experience point now, or if he just leveled up, but... I'm not going to bother. I really want to spend a few minutes on this environment because it's so fucking great. At least for me, it was. And you could search through everything. There's bags, there's garbage cans, bathrooms in this part. There's little uh, wicker pl baskets and shit in the uh, jungle area. The main jungle area is cool. I'm in the, I'm in the, uh, the, the part of the jungle with the lab. The other jungle area is cool too, like you gotta find a crash plane and stuff. But like I said, the well that is one of the biggest flaws in this game. There's another flaw 
biggest flaw being when the zombies just grab you, like, through your attacks, which is frustrating. Like, you're hitting them, and then they just grab you. It doesn't even make sense how they be able to do it. Oh, I'm about dead. And I have no more healths. I've died quite a few times. You will regen some health. Like, I just went up back to almost four uh, blocks. But there are, like, energy drinks and shit everywhere. You got your flashlight where you use down on the D-pad. Oh, shit, there's one of those guys. That's a suicider. He just exploded. See, like, you'll get screwed. Like, you'll run in and just all of a sudden that dude will be there and fucking... You're screwed. Like, you're just done. <laughs> because, you know, it's kind of cool in a way, you know. He's kind of... He'll catch you off guard if, like, you buck in there and all of a sudden he's there. All right, let me just use this because it's going to keep telling me. I don't even really know what to use it on. Actually, you know what? I was using it on this. No, not that. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to use it on that either. Use it on weapon durability so I don't have to keep repairing my weapons because it gets costly. You lose money when you die, too, and it, it bases on how much you have. So if you have a crap ton, you lose like 5, 6 Gs. As you can tell, so that's the hotel. You start off in there. You go back in there again at another point. During the first act. But it's a great environment. It really is. Yeah, like she's in a bikini, yet she has like 115 bucks on her. But like I said, this is a great environment. There's also other bungalows. I don't want to spend a crap ton of time here. I just want to, you know, it's a great environment. You hold in the left stick and uh, you'll run. You do take fall damage, which I might take, I will take right there. You take a quite a bit too, as you can tell. Another one of the problems I have that's annoying me is that sometimes when you get your, your circles, it tells you, you know, it gives you directions to go to get to the next area, I mean your next objective, and uh, it will just send you into like a dead end sometimes. It's not giving you like the long way, which you should be doing. You should be going the long way. It doesn't give you that, and then you're screwed, and you're fucking, you know, walking all over the place and shit. It can be frustrating. I don't really use brass knuckles, but you know what? I need to get to, uh, I need nine more to get that uh, achievement. Oh, where do I gotta go to get to the fast travel point? I am still enjoying the game greatly. And there's another part, besides like the bad fucking, the zombies grabbing you through everything. Uh, sometimes the, their routes to your next objective would be frustrating as well. Fast travel is cool in this because you quickly go to your next place. Uh, right now I'm going to go to... A, the city area, which is the second area. There's sewers in this game, and anybody who's played this game knows the sewers are fucking annoying. They really ruin this area. And this area, you can't really explore too much because there's a lot of fucking zombies and shit, like, everywhere. Which kind of sucks. <clears throat> I actually like the city area better in, uh, than on Riptide. Uh, yeah, you see the pop in there. Stuff hasn't fully come in yet. Oh, there it is. It comes in. It's, it stutters and shit. And, then, and it lets you know when you go back to these areas that you can do those continuous quests still. I'm not even going into the fucking sewers. They're so frustrating. Like, the city itself isn't bad, but the fact that you have to go in the sewers a decent amount. Sucks. That really blows. There's a, quite a few enemies. Of course there won't be now, but they are there. There's random guys who sell shit floating around here too. You can find a lot of shit here too. You find a lot of collectibles here like personal IDs and stuff. Oh shit.
You can blow up canisters and crap like that. It's always nice. That. It's weird though, in a way, there's like energy drinks hanging out in like the weirdest spots. It's fucking bizarre. There's a lot of these trunks where you can find guns and shit. I like to pick up the, I mean, I, I use the, the firearms now a lot more than you, than you do early. You don't come across a gun for a little bit. But it's cool that they're worth a lot of money. So you, I pick up as many as I can just to sell them. You do have certain inventory. You have you do have a limit on your inventory, not for the parts, but for like the weapons you do. Oops. There are some glitches in this game, not too many. And that there really are no enemies here now, which is bizarre. There actually are human enemies too. You have to deal with at points. That's where the guns come in handy. You get an achievement for beating the shit out of guys with fists. I don't know if it will count it because I'm using... You do have a stamina meter there too. Which if it runs out, you'll get knocked down. You have a, I have a stomp move too I could use. But that's this part. Now let me go back to the jungle. I don't, I don't even remember these guys being here last time. I must have... You get a little confusing if you're not paying attention to the map in here because it's all types of alleyways and shit. You can set your own way, uh, way marks. Waypoints, I mean. You can barely drive around the city there. You do come across a truck in this area, but so much of this, they're blocked off by like buses and crap. It's hard to really drive anywhere. <clears throat> still, I'm still actually enjoying the game. It's just, I think some of the flaws, and I think that's typical with any game you go back to, is that the flaws are just more annoying. Like you're, you're more willing to not give a shit about them when you first play a game. Second time, it, it's more annoying, obviously. Oh, god damn it. Get a trophy for killing five of those infected with one shot. I've only gotten to three. They, if they come at you in packs, you will get pummeled. It, it, any, any of them, actually. Any kind of them. If they come at you in packs, you're going to get... Trashed. Where the hell am I going? See, I'm not looking at the map right now, and I'm fucking running all over the place like an idiot. Yeah, you see those little heads came on the map. I don't know if you can see them. They're probably human enemies, although they will... Oh, oh I'm knocked down. Get up! <clears throat> they will chase you too. He still is, see? Alright, enough of those. Let's go back to the good ones. There's another one coming. I would still play this game, definitely, if you've never played it. Yeah, you see, the lavatory is its own spot. There's actually, like, a Jason-type dude in the jungle that you can kill. He's a fucking real pain in the ass to kill, though. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you get a chainsaw after you do it. Um... <clears throat> I'll only do this for a few more minutes. I've been, but like, go back to this game. It's cool. Creating the weapons is cool. The combat is fun. Some of the uh, some of the uh, you know I don't know what to say. 
the grab the, the, the flaws are well, let me start Com <laughs> combat's fun you're cutting off limbs and shit you can break them if you're using blunt weapons blowing heads off and shit the combat is fun there's the fucking popping again you see that the ground hasn't even popped in yet you use a lot of boats in Riptide. You don't do that in this. You get on one, but you don't actually use it. Just get a quick view of the jungle. Definitely play the game. If you haven't. Thank you, friend. Because it is cool. Like, there's some glitches. The enemies grabbing you through your... Like, through being pounced is annoying. Some of the mat... You know, some of the bad waypoints is annoying. Uh, and the sewers are fucking awful, and the prison's not much better because it's just boring and bland <clears throat> compared to like this and shit. But you know, you can find a lot of cool items and shit. There's chests everywhere, there's stuff to constantly do, there's a lot of collectibles, there's IDs and recordings. A lot of missions, you're getting a lot of gameplay out of it. You know, if you look past the bullshit. It's it's still really good. You can play with people online too. I did that a little bit on the Xbox. You do missions with each other. I have not at all on this. I don't know how many people are actually playing this still. <clears throat> but that's kind of cool too. I this was the game of the year edition, so there's an arena and stuff. I have not tried that yet. Uh, but overall, it's still a cool game. I'm enjoying it. Not as much, and the flaws are a little more annoying, but I still am enjoying it. I actually speaking of Mirror's Edge, I downloaded that again. I mentioned that earlier because that was a free uh, download Need for Speed Most Wanted for the Vita too. Because over the weekend EA had a few free games on the PlayStation Store, so that was cool. But I definitely yeah, give this game a try if you have not played it. It's fun. You'll enjoy it. You'll also get annoyed by it, but it will be annoying. Uh, it is cool. I unfortunately didn't go into rage mode, and I'm not really going to now because no enemies here. But like I said, creating your weapons is fun. It still looks pretty good from, to me. Some of the character models up close look pretty bad, I guess, but the, you know, the environment still look good. It's fun. Upgrading's fun. There's some cool missions in there, you know. The environments are pretty cool, except the sewers. And uh, overall, it's a pretty cool game. I would definitely uh, check it out. But uh, this is my first of hopefully a few, quite a few, uh, going back to old games and playing them. Well, not super old games, but games I had played like, you know, three, four years ago and going back to them. <clears throat> but uh, thanks everybody for checking it out and have a good day.